what is up everybody welcome back to the channel we got another video guys today today we're going to be featuring the new rigid compact bandsaw before i get into the video guys i want to give a huge shout out to stan the man if you guys watch this channel frequently you know stan hooks it up for us he you know he's always keeping us ahead of the game sending us the newest tools and the deals all right stan is always spoiling us on this channel and you know just keeping us ahead of the game i'm gonna go ahead and put his username for his instagram in the description below make sure you guys go give him a follow he always posts really good content uh, really good stuff guys go ahead and go give him a follow all right guys so this is rigid's new bandsaw all right very very nice this is their new compact one um they released this a couple months ago or they didn't release it they announced it a couple months ago when uh they brought out their new subcompact lineup now they've introduced a lot of tools already all right this is one of them they have an led right there as well as a um the variable speed dial at the top the locking button right there so you can't operate the tool that little lever right there okay that is the tool free blade exchange it loosens up those flywheels on the bottom that way you're able to take the blade out it does have a rafters hook as well as well as rigid hex grip and those little holes right there towards the bottom of the tool look like they are tether hooks so you could tie it to yourself when you're on the rafters or high up um, anything like that now it looks very nice guys i'm not gonna lie and the price on it too uh we'll talk about it more but the price is 179. i actually really like that price range when you compare it to milwaukee's compact bandsaw yes it is milwaukee i understand that but milwaukee's is 269 so almost a hundred dollars more and ryobi's um their bandsaw is 129 so i think the price range is there for rigid um, here's the model number right there, R8604B. It includes the compact 2.5 inch cut capacity bandsaw with a 32 and 7 18 inch 18 TPI blade and an operator's manual. That's with the bare tool. Now, I don't know if they're going to include a kit. Um, I'm not really sure what they would include with it, like as far as battery wise. They have the octane batteries, but those only have octane tools, and this isn't one of them. Um, it is coming launch date fall 2020 it has a lightweight ergonomic design a variable speed dial provides 320 to 680 surface feet per minute it has a two and a half inch cut capacity and again it is their 18 volt compact bandsaw all right um it, again guys two and a half inch cut capacity Designed with a variable speed dial, this saw delivers ultimate control and features an LED light for increased visibility on the job. The lightweight and ergonomic design provides increased balance and reduces user fatigue. The tool-free blade release makes changing blades quick and easy, and the integrated rafter hook maximizes storage options when the job is done. With registration, this tool is backed by the industry-leading only lifetime service agreement. Now the benefits, it features a 2.5 inch cut capacity and a 32 and 7 18 inch blade used for cutting threaded rod, black pipe, PVC, conduit, unistrut, angle iron, and wood. The variable speed dial provides 320 to 680 surface feet per minute for ultimate control based on material and application. Lightweight design reduces user fatigue making it great for overhead use. Ergodomic design gives the tool increased balance when cutting, integrated rafter hook for additional storage options, toolless blade change makes changing blades quick and easy, and an LED light illuminates the workspace. How about that guys, Rigid is stepping up their game with the tools they are now producing. Um, if you guys are in the Rigid platform, you guys might be excited about this. I'm definitely going to be able to get it for you guys and uh, do the review. Now the rafter hook is on the back side of the tool um, and then right there is the variable speed dial. I really really like the location on it and I'll, you'll see a better uh, picture right now. But the location on it is right where your thumb is when you're going to be holding it with your right hand. Very very nice design. You're going to be able to adjust the speed with your thumb and not having to you know, get down your ladder 
get both hands you know it's right there for you guys right at your disposal very very nice design by rigid i'm looking forward to this guys i'm looking forward to uh rigid's other tools if you guys are curious to see what else they're releasing i'll put the link in the description i know they have a couple more tools still coming out um so the overall design of it guys how about that i really like it i think it looks clean it does actually look very compact and the price guys again 179 i think it's priced uh pretty well it is brushed um we know most of the band saws besides milwaukee's are brushed um the waltz is brushed Ryobi's is brushed even milwaukee's uh compact band saw is brushed as well now the two and a half inch coat capacity it's pretty good okay uh milwaukee's features a little more but it's also a little more expensive. And if you are on a Milwaukee's uh, platform, that could be problematic. Obviously, if you are on Ridge's platform, this benefits you because you can buy it. You don't need the batteries, anything like that. Um, and again, it's brand new. There shouldn't be really no issues with it. Hopefully, cross your fingers, guys. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it, guys. And again, it does have their hex grip, which Rigid features on all of their tools. Um, I know a big thing with a lot of people why they don't like rigid is because they think it's too bulky, especially around the grip. Um, personally, I have no issue with this. I do have bigger hands, so it makes it a little more comfortable. But that's why they have the new subcompact stuff. All right, guys, go check it out. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, as always, you guys stay safe, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Later, y'all.